Well, as Johnson, as Boris Johnson said in his doorstep at the European uh, Council, he had made a statement about Lebanon last night. So let's have a look at that. Uh, he began by saying, I spoke today to Foreign Minister Basile uh, on the latest developments in Lebanon. I reiterated to him the United Kingdom's full support for the sovereignty and independence of Lebanon. Now, I read that this morning, uh, Patrick, and I thought to myself, no, no, this, this is not, he's not speaking English here. Uh, and so we thought perhaps he needed some kind of truth serum applied to everything that he was saying in this statement. So we're going to inject Boris. Nice haircut, by the way, Boris. Yes, this he's, one. He's, he's had it done. Uh, he scrubs up nice, doesn't he, yeah. Mike? We're going to inject some UK column uh, pentothal yes. into the uh, foreign secretary. So, so let's just remind ourselves, we said, I spoke today to Foreign Minister Basile on the latest developments of, in Lebanon. I reiterated to him the United Kingdom's full support for the sovereignty and independence uh, of Lebanon. So we're going to uh, give him some pentothal and uh, well, look, here's what it says. I spoke today to Foreign Minister Basile on the latest developments in Lebanon. I reiterated to him the United Kingdom's intention to undermine the sovereignty and independence of Lebanon. Okay, he went on to say, Prime Minister Harari has been a good and trusted partner for the UK and we hope he will return to Beirut without further delay, not least in the interests of Lebanon's political stability. Uh, so again, we'll no, an we've got to give him another dose. And uh, here we go. He said, Prime Minister Harari has been a good and trusted partner for the UK and we hope he will be dealt with in Saudi without further delay, not least in the interests of Lebanon's political stability. Uh, and... Uh, well, he went on to say, we urge all parties with an interest in Lebanon to do all they can to encourage this and to work more broadly to reduce recent tensions. Give him a dose. And here we go. Uh, Give a dose. Again, dose. here's what he said. Actually, we urge all parties with an interest in Lebanon to do all they can to encourage this and to work more broadly to heighten recent tensions. Finally, uh, he said, uh, we echo the concerns of the United States and our European partners that Lebanon should not be used as a tool for proxy conflicts and that its independence and integrity should be respected by all parties within the country and beyond. Uh, another dose and what do we get? Uh, we echo the concerns of the United States and our European partners that Lebanon should be used as a tool for proxy conflicts and its independence and integrity should not be respected by any parties within the country or beyond. So that is, uh, that is what Boris had to say. That's the British position on Lebanon. It's very effective, this new uh, product. Sodium from pentothal, the, from yeah. The, will that be available in the UK columns uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the store? Uh, sadly <laughs> I think not. some we, people could use that. We couldn't, we couldn't encourage anybody <laughs> to, 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 to inject any uh, politician with any uh, substance. Yeah. Uh, even to get to the truth. That'll have a hard time passing through the uh, the regulatory bodies, I think, in this country, Mike. Yes. They wouldn't want that product on the market. I think that would be very dangerous for politics.